I would like to add my voice in calling for a renewed and heightened conversation around Indian violence against women and girls. Here we are in 2019 as part of the 16 Days of Activism, bringing attention to this issue where all of us, regardless of who we are, should be having a conversation around how to eliminate it. The how question is always very challenging and very difficult. And it does call upon us to have some self-reflection and also be bold in how it is that we may be able to contribute in some small way to ending this kind of either physical violence or psychological violence. So I would also like to, to say to those who are actually doing it, take the time and moment to ask yourself, why? Why is this a preferred way of interacting? Is there any way it can be avoided? And if you feel in some way that it's challenging by yourself to end this practice, please turn to somebody whom you trust, be it a counsellor or trust leader or a friend, to have a conversation about ending it. I would also like to ask those families who are suffering because of gender-based violence, please don't shy away from having a conversation. Please don't shy away from talking about it. This is what families are for, to lend and support each other. It is okay if there's a problem to share it so that collectively you can come up with a solution. So the family as a unit, an extended family, you play a very, very big role in taking part in trying to end gender-based violence. I also say to the the decosies out there. You too play an enormous role in helping to end gender-based violence. Listen to what it is that people are saying and then hopefully support the families and the victim in a way that will make every effort to end gender-based violence. And I'd also say to those who are victims, please try to get the support mechanisms that are out there, be it in terms of support from the police or from the legal team or the social team, the psychologist, the health team. And if that support is not available, raise your voice to have that support systems put in place. We are all equal, we all have our dignity and we all have a right to have this kind of support. Because when this happens, we're all very vulnerable and when somebody is vulnerable they need care and support and no judgment that's when one needs helping hand the most so let us all whoever you are wherever you sit wherever or whatever family you come from please play your part in opening the conversation around ending violence against women and girls and rape. This is what the culture of Botswana wants. This is the freedom and dignity we want. So play your part, regardless of your age, in ending gender-based violence. Thank you.